This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com and Wizard Magic. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger, where you can ask me anything that you want to know from the wide world of technology. You can ask your questions one of two ways. Every Tuesday, we'll put an article up on technobuffalo.com asking for your questions. And then if you're not feeling so Tuesday-ish, you can go ahead and send your questions to us any day of the week at technobuffalo and use the hashtag AskTheB. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. This one comes from Twitter and it's from user Luke JW93 who asks, what do you think the biggest innovation in mobile phones will be in the next five years? At some point, the processors have got to sort of slow down a little bit and become a bit more optimized. So we're coming to quad core right now, you know, eight core, eight core, sounds even crazy to say, eight core, 16 cores, uh, might be standard five years from now. The power that smartphones have now are almost equivalent to the power that computers had five years ago. So you probably don't have to look much farther than your desktop to see what your smartphone's going to have. I think we're going to see a really big push for glasses-free 3D, particularly stereoscopic technology, and hopefully do it in a way that doesn't make your brain feel like it wants to fall out in a pulsing pound of headache. I think we also might see Pico projectors finally become mainstream as they get smaller and smaller so you can Pico project what you're looking at onto onto a screen. I think we're certainly going to see phones get larger and larger and larger and then see phones get smaller and smaller and smaller again. So in five years, we'll probably have 40 inch phones to put in our big fat pockets. So hopefully that helped answer your question. So the next question has a little bit to do with the Techno Buffalo website itself and how we dictate what content goes up there. So this question comes from iGeekTV Plus. How do you use analytics to help you develop your audience? Uh, we use analytics quite a bit. For those of you that don't know what analytics are, there are tools that sort of show you what people are looking at, how many people are looking at them, what quantity, what times, where they are, and the demographics. We use Google Analytics uh, primarily, and that's a free option that most websites take advantage of. And that helps us dictate what content you guys like to read and what videos I need to make that you guys like to see. Now, there are examples and times when we go totally go counter to what uh, analytics would tell us to do because we think a topic is really interesting to us or one of the staff, and we'll go ahead and post those anyways. But that's the primary way that we use analytics. Hopefully that helped answer your question. So Mobile World Congress is coming up very quickly in Barcelona. You might hear it abbreviated as MWC, and it's generally where we see new smartphones and what we're gonna see over the next year released on a global stage. Techno Buffalo will be there in full effect, and user PD Tech HD asks, what do you think about the Samsung Galaxy S3 not being shown at Mobile World Congress? What do you think the star of the show will be? Uh, well, Samsung never said they were gonna have the Galaxy S3 there, and they kind of hinted at maybe they weren't gonna have it. If the Galaxy S3 is not shown, uh, presumably the only quad-core phone that we'll see uh, will be the HTC Edge, is what it's been rumored to be called, which will be rocking a quad-core processor. Uh, HTC's been in bed with Qualcomm for a while and their Snapdragon chips, but there have been rumors that we might see some NVIDIA Tegra 3 action uh, smack into an HTC phone, so that will probably steal the stage. So hopefully that helped answer your question. And speaking of question and seamless transitions, I want to go ahead and thank our friends at Domain.com, a website that I use quite a bit. Domain.com is perfect for that moment when genius strikes. You need to snag a domain fast. It's a one-stop shopping for setting up a website to start a business, blog, or internet altering social media mega app. So if you want to start johnshipsterglasses.com, Domain.com is going to be where you're going to want to go to do that. Domain.com quickly shows you available names, making it easy to select a domain extension that's right for you. But you don't want to pay a full price, do you? Especially if you're a Techno Buffalo watcher. You know, we got your back. So the guys at Domain.com love Techno Buffalo and are giving you, our fans, 15% off when you use coupon code TB at checkout. Plus, if you go to Domain.com slash TB, they'll throw in a free two gigabyte jump drive available while supplies last. So don't forget, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Let's go ahead and go back to the questions. All right, so our next question comes from Twitter and perhaps one of the best usernames I've ever heard, Mr. Danielson. Uh, wants to know, John, what do you think the best smartphone is at the moment? So the smartphone that I've got in my pocket right now is the Samsung Galaxy Note, this 5.3 inch behemoth. 
and you hold it up to your face, it is huge and it's strange and it's big, but I love this guy. I love how big the screen is. I find myself very rarely using my iPad when I'm sitting on the couch, if I'm doing fantasy sports or I'm checking the site or sending an update. This phone has been absolutely awesome. And it's got a ridiculously long lasting battery. Now you'd say, oh, it's a big phone. It's gotta have a big battery. Generally, when I get home and plug this phone in at the end of the day, around midnight-ish, I usually have between 40 and 50% of battery left. And I've tested pretty much every mobile phone over the past few years. And generally with other devices, I'm lucky to have 20% by the end of the day with them. Galaxy Note is probably one of my favorite smartphones on the planet. Uh, my number two would be the HTC Titan. Again, big screen sort of seems to be a trend with me. I love Windows Phone 7. I don't care that it's only using a single core processor. The experience is seamless, and that's what matters to me is the end user experience. However, that Titan 2 uh, is coming very soon. It's gonna get even better, bringing LTE and a whopping 16 megapixel camera to the market. So hopefully that helped answer your question, Mr. Danielson. Now bow to your sensei, Cobra Kai. Who wants to be the bad guy in the Karate Kid movies? Um, anyway guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. We will be here every Monday answering your questions. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news. Thank you to our friends at domain.com. Thank you to you for watching. Thank you to, I don't know, just thank you. I'm John Rettinger and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh my God. Cobra Kai.